welcome back to our channel. Getting ready to start on the second coat on the beadboard and trim work in the bathroom. And I might go ahead and start on the vanities, maybe. At least this panel, just to see if this texture thingy that I'm trying on this side works to cover up all of the wood grain. I started a movie for the boys, so they're in the living room watching that while I do this. I did realize I'm not gonna be able to start the cabinet today because with this surface prep, I need some things that I don't have. I need some gloves and a green scouring pad to apply it. I have to put some paper in the floor because when I do start the cabinets, I would need to protect the floor. Got everything cleaned up and taped off. But I'm gonna stop for the night. We're gonna head to the grocery store, have dinner, and then probably swim with the boys in the pool. Check in with you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon. It is another day. I'm having pudding. The boys are having a snack. We just got out of the pool. I'm gonna paint the third coat on the b-board. All right, I have the third coat painted on all the b-board and the trim. I think that's the final coat. It looks phenomenal. Dave just got home from work. He had an interesting day. I will insert some footage here for you to enjoy from his day. I see you. What are you doing? What y'all doing up there? Whole family. I'm going to sign off for the night. We're gonna enjoy our Friday night with the grandkids. And I will probably pick back up Monday. I'm not sure if I'll get anything done this weekend or not, but if I do, I'll sign back on. But here's a look at everything I did today. Trim and be bored, it looks very good. I don't know if you can hear Dave and the grandkids in the background. They're out there having fun. All of the floor molding is done. <laughs> I'm laughing at the grandkids. So I'm sure you can hear them. They are having a good old time out there with their pop. And here's this in here. Everything's nice, bright, white, and clean looking. That is all of the fun that I had today. Oh, I'm trying not to touch white door. Good morning. It's Saturday morning, and I figured I'd go ahead and do the surface prep on the cabinets. I'm not gonna paint them today. I'm trying to make good use of my time since I have to have all of this room painted by next Thursday, but I'm getting ready to do the surface prep and wanted to take you guys along with me. This is my first time using this type of paint. So if it's your first time too, maybe this video might be helpful. You're gonna need disposable gloves, a scouring pad. I just got the Scotch-Brite one, a brush to apply, can be any type of brush, clean towels that are disposable that you don't care anything about to wipe the product off with. So you're supposed to brush this on, you're supposed to work in sections, brush it on, leave it on for 30 to 60 seconds, take your scouring pad, rub it in, wipe it off. Okay, I had to put this on the countertop really quick to protect it because I don't want anything to drip down and damage the countertop. So I've done that. Now I'm getting ready to start prepping. It does not have a strong odor at all. And what this surface prep does, it allows you to prep any surface without sanding. So it's supposed to remove any type of glossy surface and it's also a degreaser. It's very liquid. I'm trying to be very careful not to get it everywhere. You guys can learn from my mistake, and I wouldn't exactly call it a mistake, more of a 
learning process. So these are unfinished cabinets, meaning they're raw wood. There's nothing on the surface. There's no varnish, there's no paint, there's no anything. I have done this whole cabinet, but what I was finding, and I'm not sure if it's going to come through on camera, this stuff was dehydrating the wood so much that you could kind of see some almost like a little split in hair sticking out. So I'm gonna have to sand the whole thing before I can paint it because you would definitely be able to see that through the paint. Okay, it's painting cabinets day. I am getting ready to open the can of paint and start on the cabinets. I'll do all the doors and drawers after I get this done. I have to get it done by Thursday because we have already scheduled the plumbers. All the cabinets need to be painted and all the walls need to be painted as well. So let's open this can of paint, see what it looks like. I'm really excited about this. So, what I learned about this paint is your first coat is what they consider your ugly coat. It's almost like a base coat, like a sticky coat for your pretty coat. You're supposed to work in sections. And what they say to do is once you have this coat done, just to take your roller and kind of smooth it all out so that you don't see your brush marks. All right, tell me what you guys think. This is the first coat, so-called ugly coat. I really like it. Um, it's very bold for us especially. It's gonna be very bright and vibrant. And I personally will like it because I stepped out of my comfort zone and went for a huge pop of color. I wanted our master bathroom to be completely different from all of the other remodeling that we have done with the house, so I like it. I realized that I never did show you guys what our finished closets looked like. So let me show you those. We're really happy with how they turned out. This is my closet. Um, so I have this section here that has a shelf up here. I put my hats up there. This is all of my long hanging things. So all of my dresses, all of these are drawers. gave me a whole lot more storage room and of course they are all the soft clothes. I have three shelves here so I have purses, backpacks, everything on these two shelves, my sweaters up here which I don't have a lot because we live in Florida and shoes, socks, and more backpacks down here. These are going away because that's all the crystals for the chandelier in the bathroom. And then I have two hanging bars there. So I have all my jeans on there and long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts. And here's Dave's. Dave's is kind of messy, sorry. I pretty much showed you his, but this is the finished finished product. He did take two of my extra things and put those up there. I think they're empty. This is his lounge around the house clothes. Um, he just throws them on the floor, so sorry about that. And then all of his organization. So yes, they are a whole lot better than just the plain old wire racks that most builders put in houses. We're able to much better organize our closets and fit more in them with these IKEA organizers. And good morning. Today is Wednesday, July the 26th. The cabinets 
are done. I have not started the drawers and the doors yet because that wasn't as important as going ahead and getting the shelves, I guess you could call them, of the cabinets done because that has to be finished for the guys to come, the plumbers, and install the tub. And I have also started with the wall color. The walls are definitely gonna need two coats. This is the cabinet color. This is three coats. It did take three coats, but this is the wall color. This is what it looks like. In our last video, you did see that I did a kind of like a technique on the wood where I put spackle so that you couldn't see the wood grain. I only did that here. I didn't want to do that on the rest of the cabinetry because it, it was just too much work. So I only did it here, but you can't really tell a difference between that and this that I did not do that on. I really love the paint. Um, it's a really nice pop of color. The plumbers were supposed to come tomorrow, but we are trying to see if maybe they'll come on Friday instead because I know that this is gonna need two coats and I'm not sure that I can get all that finished by the end of the afternoon. Plus, Dave still has to hang blinds on this window and we're not able to do that with a tub in the way. So I think they're gonna come Friday instead of tomorrow. I've been hard at work in this bathroom for the last two days. All the painting is done. I think it looks really, really nice. Getting ready to put the crystals on the chandelier. That's where we are. I'm gonna go ahead and put the crystals on the chandelier. Okay, so it's the next day. I waited to do this because we did not have any light bulbs to put in here. And per the instructions, it says that you're supposed to put the light bulbs in first and then do the crystals, which I don't know what you're supposed to do when your light bulbs burn out, but this is exciting. So exciting. This chandelier came with these fancy white gloves to hang up the crystals. So I'm also going to put these, these on to hang up the light bulbs just so that I don't get any fingerprints on the light bulbs. Okay, it's done. I love it. It is so beautiful. It's so bougie. It's so fancy. It's so glamorous. I absolutely can't wait to take a bath and look up and see that chandelier. There is in all its glory. Well, let me turn the light on so you can see the shimmer. Oh, look at the reflections on the walls. It's so pretty. Oh, oh my god. I just can't. What do you guys think? I love it. James hanging our blinds. Kind of. We got a tiny window here in the shower room. And then I'm going to be doing the lights, camera, action. That's Just, how I get down. Did you hear them bones crackle? I, that's, that's arthritis, baby. <laughs> you laugh. <laughs> but that's my stage name. Arthritis that's baby? That's right, that's right, arthritis baby. The last time I twerked, I actually hurt my back. It's a true story. So we have these blinds hung. We have a snafu with these blinds. What happened? It's a Lowe's problem, not our problem. We gotta go buy new blinds. They cut them wrong. They cut them wrong and True story, we've actually had all these blinds two years ago. And they were all cut at the same time, and there's 20 some blinds, because there's a lot of windows in this house, and two, this is the second one of 25 that was cut wrong. So, they were measured correctly, they were just cut wrong, which, Yeah, whatever. and I mean, we bought all the blinds at the same time, and we've just been putting them up as we've done each room. Now we have to buy 
a new set of lugs because they won't take them back because they've been cut, plus we've had them for two years. It's always something. Dave's been hard at work again in the bathroom. I don't know if you can tell there's a glow coming towards him because we have lights. I love them. We ordered these on Amazon because we just could not find anything at Lowe's or Home Depot that we just really, really liked. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick look at the progress. The plumbers are here, but they did have to run out and get some more supplies. So it's kind of chaos in here right now, but here's a look at the progress that's happening in the bathroom. So they haven't hooked up the sinks yet. The bathtub is in, but it's not completely installed. Same thing over here and they still have to do the toilet. My battery died there, but it's in progress, just not completed yet. I'll give you an update when they leave. All right, friends, today is Wednesday, August the 2nd. I'm gonna go ahead and end out this video. We are gonna get back to the weekly vlogs. These vlogs, because we have the grandkids and because everything is kind of so broken up, it's been like multi-week vlogs. Plumbers were here yesterday. We are kind of frustrated with things, but it is what it is. We do have the sinks set. We do have the tub set and the toilet. Let me turn this light on. I did use the shower yesterday for the first time. It was glorious. We have a new shower head on we did get an extended arm so that it extends a little more further out into the shower um, the shower is wonderful it is luxurious it's all sealed and let me tell you the benefit of sealing your grout it gives it almost like a waterproof coating on the top um, it makes it easier to clean the toilet is glorious also i hated our old toilet, it just was not a good toilet. It flushed three times because the innards were broken. And we never bothered to fix it because we knew eventually we would be changing it out. The sinks. The sinks do work. Uh, we did have to have the plumbers come back after they left yesterday because it was leaking under here from the drain. So that is now fixed. It does not leak from under there. Now this is leaking, as you can see down there. It's leaking from this pipe here. This one, same thing. Uh, this was leaking, so every time you put water in it, water would just seep onto the countertop from there. That is fixed. Mine is not leaking. Everything works on mine. So, bathtub. This is how it's hooked up with this flex pipe. They are gonna come back on Thursday. I don't know if you can see down into the drain. I will try to zoom in, but the water doesn't completely drain out. Um, it just sits there. They're going to re-plumb it, and they're gonna try to pipe it to where the pipe goes down at an angle so that the water does drain better because it drains very, very slowly. Another issue is the faucet for the bathtub. So this is the faucet that we went with. I showed this to you guys in a previous video. They're also gonna take this apart because it comes out, I mean, that's as hard as it comes out. Another thing is because they have it, the way that they have it plumbed, this you're not gonna be able to see in the camera, but there's legs on the bottom of this bathtub. I wanna be able to put a bead of silicone around there to secure it to the floor, because as of right now, the way that they have it, I mean, you can move the bathtub around. I don't like that. I am too scared of it hitting something. That's all the updates. But as for this video, I'm going to end it here. Do all the things. Like, comment, subscribe, click that bell, and we will see you in the next home vlog. Bye, guys.